Hey viewers, Retro Drunkie here going through the continuation of the playthrough for Quackshot, part of the Genesis Archive. So from those of you that haven't seen part one yet, go back and watch it. For those of you that don't want to watch part one yet, we left off on, we're in the middle of the Transylvania stage, or not the middle yet, but at least the underwater part, the dungeon part of the Transylvania stage. Uh, we've already gone to Duckburg, followed by Mexico, followed by Duckburg again, and now we are back here in Transylvania for the first time throughout this run. So again, this is a continuation from part one. This is part two. We're going to go through for 30 minutes, just like last time, and however far we get is how far we get until we can proceed to move on. So here we go. So I remember from last time that did not take me anywhere special. In fact, I landed on those spikes last time, so yeah, that happened. Last time I landed up on these spikes, so I was trying not to hit anything, which is difficult. I did anyway. Hut. Hut. Ah, crap. Crap, crap. I just had to take it. I think that's where I died last time, too, actually, if I recall. Ugh. These gravity bounces are terrible. But there's Turkey. And that makes life better. Oh, I hope this is the end of this water part. This is crap. I don't remember what this guy does. I'm gonna be honest. Oh, that's what he does. shot his ass or something then I guess nope that does nothing that did nothing supposed to go okay well I think I died this run not this run but this part because it just keeps repeating it nope want nothing to do with it no ghosts and I had something to do with it anyway don't do it Dracula. I'm not a fan of these ghosts. Didn't like him in Mario. Don't like him here. Oh dear God. It is a wall coming in to destroy my soul. <laughs> oh 
great. This fat fuck again. Look at him nonchalant. Then suddenly he's just like, fuck this guy. I'm gonna get this duck. Because I don't like ducks. That's his thought process. I will die here. Unless one of these contain a turkey. Nope. Ugh. I don't remember what happens if we get a game over. Do I have to start again from the beginning? Not the beginning beginning, obviously, but okay. I have to start from the beginning of the castle. And that does me no good. Oh, this is frustrating and discouraging, but we're gonna keep going. Because this is a playthrough. Wait for this ghost to pass by. But you know, as all Genesis games, you live, you get better, and you move on. up and money I can't reach I destroyed that in the improper order For some reason I thought gravity would have something a role to play in this game it did not and now for the sake of rushing I'm being a lot more careless bubblegum. And here's the water part again. At least I know there's a turkey here waiting for me. Turkey makes everything better. Turkey and patience. And precision. Unless you've fallen down there before, you would not know that those spikes were there. So that is a very, very cruel joke to play. So this is definitely where you start to get a little bit of the sensation of the pr of the precision involved with this. Um, not so much on the jumping, but more of in the controls. I mean, like right here, this part sucks. So now I have to hold A, run through this and jump, but they put A, the run button and the jump button so far away. I feel like these controls could have been a, bit, a little bit thought, better thought out. Definitely going up here instead. Why? Because I remember there being turkey. Yes, turkey. And corn. But I have like a plethora of corn. Oh, never mind. I lost it all. So I need to gather all my corn again. Because I got a game over. I really don't know how to avoid this guy other than just slide. And that was not jump, that was me holding down to slide. But whatever. Genesis knows best, I guess. Interesting how that all reappeared.
Alright, getting a little further along. This, I believe, is the part where I died. Or getting close to the part where I died. Skeletons. I hate seeing walls come close to me like this. I hate it! Alright. This time I will start from the top. There's Goppity Gook. Turkey. I missed that last time completely, and that would have helped me so much here. But anyway. That's neither here nor there now. Whatever, get away! Ugh. Bastard. Don't hurt me! Okay. Oh, I need to leave that there. Oh, and I can't reach. That's fantastic. Arg. That's great. So, hey, do this part over again, would you please? How about no? How about no, Sega? How about you do this part again? What the hell? They should not be coming up this high. Alright, I'm gonna pause for a second. I have to use the restroom, and this is Dracula. Bullshit. Note to self, do not drink water during recordings. Alright, so I'm going to end up dying here. Let's see. Oh my god, I'm out of corn. That's okay, I think this boss is forgiving and is going to let me do it with plungers. Nope. That's a whole lot of uh, negative Ghost Rider. So now I just need to dodge bats. There we go. And it's not the classical three, uh... Damn. It is not the classic, uh three hit model. This is a multi hit for sure. <laughs> Screw you bats. I got a bubble gum gun. Bingo. 
So, so far we're one for one. For every time he hits me, I hit him. And that is not a good ratio, ladies and gentlemen. But these bats are on steroids. They fly fast. Oh my god. For real. Ugh. That was a bat. Finally! Donald takes the real treasure map. So the one I had was a straight up fake. Ah, call airplane. Oh wow. Okay, I don't recall where we go to from here. I'm gonna go ahead and just say Egypt for now. Why? Because that's the closest one. So, for those of you just tuning in or keeping track, we are currently at um, the following order. Duckburg, Mexico, Duckburg, Mexico, Duckburg, Transylvania. Oh, hell. Give me them peppers, so I can go ape shit. Oh hell, corn. That did not give me a pepper. I'm disappointed in the results. Oh hell. I don't remember those guys at all. It makes for a very annoying stage, but I got turkey. So life is good. The door is closed and I can't go inside. Okay. So obviously, Egypt was a bad call. Let's do Mar Maharaja. We're going to call it that for now. Ooh. I did not think those carried over between stages. That is one pissed off duck. Oh my god. Okay, so plungers don't work on those guys. Duly noted. I love how that's the snake animation from the Jungle Book. And now it works on them. Don't understand the science to that yet. Wow, this is the big Maharaja's palace. All right, so it's not keeping me from going in, so it looks like here is where we continue. Oh. I offer you a challenge. A Sphinx tier. Hmm, sounds like that's what I need for Egypt. Oh god, there's numbers on these doors. Nothing. Get out of here. Oh. 
climb the opposite wall. Okay. Thanks for switching it up on me, Sega. I did not want to jump on three. Because now three takes me back to five. And where does five take me? Five takes me to two. Oh god, so there's different door numbers. That's fantastic. So let's see here. Where does this two take me? To six. That's fantastic. So dodge mus musical notes from these guys. Note taken. So I came back up here twice. The most progress I made was over here, so let's take five. And we skip this door number two. And we'll take this door number two. Nope. This number six. And there was a number one. And there's a door number one. But I want to take that door number one. Oh no, I took that one last time, I think. So, is there something up here? Yes, there is. I want this door number one. Alright, that took me to door number three. Of which I've been this way before, actually. So this is annoying. Somehow I ran straight through that. I'm gonna take this number three. And that takes us back to door number five. Ah. <sighs> some people that have completed this damn game in an hour. This is ridiculous. Alright, trying an alternative route. I'm getting hit with freaking tomatoes. Malarkey. That's what I call this. Malarkey. Oh, excellent. I'm at door number one. But then now which door number one do I want to take? I want to say there's a route to climb up here. Jerk. Nope. No route to climb. Progress. Alright, so that took up a whole lot of stuff. Oh dear Jesus.
Nope, that doesn't do it. Alright, so that doesn't dodge. Fireball. Okay, so that dodged it better. Nope, not where I, where I wanted to go. Okay. that one well. One, two, there we go. Oh, how infuriatingly annoying. The benefit is this does give you unlimited continues, but it can be quite irritating. <sighs> and I don't remember that route, which is probably the most infuriating part. So apparently I need to get through the last number six door. Hut! Number two. Did not want to land there, but okay. Jerk. This one was straight through. There we go. How I dodged that, I have no idea. Perfect! Haha! -ha! Jerk ass tiger. I can't tell if that's supposed to be, uh, Raja? No, it's not Raja. That looks a l well. It could be Raja, but it could also be the tiger from um, Jungle Book, especially since uh, Jungle Book was another title that came out during this time, around this age, from Disney, as well as um, the tiger from it. I think it was Shere Khan. I got the Sphinx tier. Now we go to Egypt, and just in time because we're at right about our 30 minutes. But I want to open. Haha! -ha. All right, guys, and this is a good checkout point. So that wraps up this segment or this part of the uh, Quack Chop playthrough, and we're going to continue on later. As always, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, go ahead and leave us a like and a comment. Share, subscribe if you haven't yet so you can get updates on all future of all future vids, and you're going to get some uh, icons up on your screen here in just a moment. Just go ahead and click on either one of those to watch another one of our videos or just go ahead and subscribe to our channel. And again, as always, thanks for watching. Until next time, Retro Junkie is out.